Hey guys and girls, before watching this tutorial, please do check out my Udemy course on designing and coding a responsive website using HTML5 and CSS3. This is a great little project to work on for beginners and also for the pros. I have provided you with a link in the description with a great discount as you see here. Okay, thank you. Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to place a video as a background for a section of your website. If you have followed my previous videos, you've seen that I have uh, showed you how to put a video in a whole background of the website. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place a video just in a one section of your website. And this is how it looks. So. Here we have a just a content section and if we scroll down you can see we have a video in just one part of or one section of the website and if I hover this video then you can see we have a just a nice overlay for this video nice animation and here we also have uh, the same the same uh, section as here just so we can scroll the web page and see the results and yes, this is what we're going to do today. So we can start coding it. Let's open up our code editor. And here I have a basic HTML template or document. And let's start with our body. Let's place a div here, uh, give it a class and class for it will be content section content section inside of this element we will have a h1 heading and this will be that section that you saw before the video so it will say video as a background for website section and after this we'll have a paragraph and let's copy some lorem ipsum text and place it right there well this will do it let's copy it paste it right here and that will be it for our content section now let's turn to our video section so place a div again let's give it a class and the class for it will be video section inside of uh, this div will have first of all a video element and let's give it an ID an ID for it will be video LM which stands for video element then we will have some some attributes and first one will be preload and it will be equal to auto uh, this basically means that once the web page is loading the video also will be downloaded and loaded into your browser next thing is autoplay equal to true this will enable the video to play automatically you won't have to you know fire it by 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 clicking on some play button and so on next thing is loop equal to loop and i think you can you know what what it does it basically loops the video so it um, on, once it's finished playing it starts over again over again and again next thing is muted let's set it equal to muted so uh, maybe the video you're using have some kind of sounds uh, in this example i want to mute it and then we'll set a poster and it will be equal to video gif dot gif and what this will do is whoops is uh, for mo it will be a, a fallback for mobile devices because if you would place just a video and mp4 video in your background then what you have is just a one frame or an image of a video and a play button uh, for iPhones for example and that's that is not the effect we want to achieve so if this will be a mobile device that you're accessing this web page then you will have this gif uh, animation you could say uh, in the background so next thing is let's place that 
video so source uh, for this element we will specify the source of the video so video dot mp4 is the video name for me for my file and I will show you here we have a video that I downloaded from this website right here I will provide the link in the description to this uh, specific video from widzy.com and I turn it to a GIF animation so I can use it for our mobile devices and the type for it will be equal to video slash mp4 and here we'll place a text video not supported if the video is not supported for some kind of reason uh, for your device then this is text that will show you that will be shown to you and after this video element let's place div let's place that overlay video overlay so class will be equal to video overlay and inside of this we'll have a heading h1 and we'll say this is a video overlay and here let's just copy this uh, content section and paste it after our video section save it we can have a look at it in our browser refresh it as you can see we have a uh, all our content and our video but we have to do some styling to get it looking as it should so let's turn to our css so first thing is let's do a basic reset as always set our margins and paddings to zero then let's target our sorry our body and for it we'll set a font family to calibri and set whoops sans serif then let's target our content section content section give it a width of 50 percent of the browser's width and margin to zero auto and let's also give it a padding of 15 percent top and bottom and zero to left and right save it now let's target those headings inside of content section content section h1 let's transform the text to uppercase uppercase and give it a margin bottom 15 pixels these are some styles to get it looking a bit nicer to our eyes. Uh, next thing is, let's target that paragraph inside of content section. Increase the font size to 1.2 M's. And let's change the color for it to dark gray. We can save it, have a look at it. Yes, yeah, looking a lot better. I think you would agree that next thing is let's target our video section so whoops video section whoops sorry so the first thing is set its position to relative and that will we are setting it to relative because we will place in that uh, video overlay and we need to set the position to relative for this uh, element so we can set a position absolute to that overlay the width for it will be 100 percent of the browser's width and i will set a maximum height of 550 pixels because if i won't then the video would be stretched and uh, stretched in height and next thing is let's set overflow to hidden so that we hide the video that is overflowing it next thing is oh we can have a look at it in our browser so yeah we need to specify the width also for this for the video itself so let's target video lm and set its width to 100 percent of our video section Yes, you can see it's looking better. It is 100% of the width of our browser. 
next thing is uh, we need to target our mobile devices and if I wouldn't specify the this gif animation for our video then what we would have is just a just an image as I told you just an image or a frame of our video and a play button and you could uh, pl pl uh, press on that play button and the video would show you uh, would be shown to you in full screen and what we want to do is is hide that play button because here we set our poster equal to that gif so we will have an uh, animation in, in in that background for our mobile devices but we want to get rid of that uh, play button and what we'll do is target the webkit browsers and the media controls to be specific so let's target video double colon web kit medium controls and set the display to none and also here let's set it to important so it overrides all the other rules that the browser gives by default next thing is let's continue with our video overlay so let's target video overlay position for it will be as i told you absolute and absolute to our video section because we set its position to relative let's give a top right bottom and left positions to uh, set them to zero zero bottom zero and left also to zero give it a background color we're going to use rgba colors set it to white and the opacity for it will be 0 0.8 and by default as you saw the the overlay was hidden so we are going to set the opacity to zero or let's set it to one so i can show you how it looks so far refresh it as you can see here we have our overlay but by default we'll have it set to zero and uh, let's set the transition and uh, we'll we will target opacity and animation, animation will happen over 0 0.3 seconds or 300 milliseconds and the function will be ease and now let's set that opacity to one once we hover over it overlay hover and let's bring the opacity to one save it we can have a look at it in our browser so by default it's hidden once we hover over it as you can see we have a nice animation next thing is let's target our heading and give it some styles overlay h1 position for it will be absolute what we're going to do is we're going to vertically and horizontally center align the text and i did a video on how to do it so you can go ahead and check it out okay next thing is let's set the left position to 50 percent and the top position to 50 percent as well let's transform it translate it on x axis of minus 50 percent and let's set the translate y property of minus 50 percent then we're also going to transform the text oops not font sorry text transform to uppercase font size for it will be three m's color will be black so zero 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 and text align to center let's save it have a look at it in our browser let's scroll up refresh it so what we have here is as you can see our in really nice looking section and once we scroll down we have our video right here and once we hover over it we have a nice overlay with a text saying this is a video overlay and obviously you can place whatever text you want here you can also place paragraph uh, and a bit longer text and then so on 
and here we also have a another section of our text and I have tested this uh, this website if you can say so on uh, various devices the first device was iPhone 6s plus with a version of 9.2.1 and it worked just fine I could scroll it the this video was visible as we placed that gif animation in so everything was working fine and then so on there were no problems and uh, another device that I was able to test it on was Google's Android uh, device called Nexus 7 with a version of 6.0.1 and again it was working just fine because if you know Android also are, are using the WebKit browser so I could scroll it zoom it in the video was playing nicely I was able to see that GIF animation in the background so if you have the newest versions uh, for your browsers uh, for your devices so I don't think you will have any problems playing uh, this video in the background but if you have for example iPhone 4 uh, I was uh, able to test it on iPhone 4 it wasn't it wasn't rendering as it should like as on the newest versions of iPhone and Android I just had a video with a play button I could have play, uh, pl uh, tapped on that play button and the video was shown to me in full screen but uh, as you see uh, this is not the effect we want to achieve so you could uh, for those older versions you could fall back to an image uh, or do some kind of other fallback but I'm not going to do it sorry in this video maybe another video I will show you how to do it but yeah I uh, hope you find this tutorial useful if you do then press like button and subscribe to my channel and what I have to say well thank you for watching this video and Hopefully see you on the next one. Bye.